Interesting. It's just as I suspected. It's Apple Day. Today we are talking all things apples. Who doesn't love a good apple? They are crunchy, sweet, nutritious, and oh so good for you. This could just be the perfect fruit. Those bright reds, greens, and yellows of apples are not only a feast for the eyes, but the crunchy white flesh is so good for you. It is one of the most satisfying fruits to munch on out there, and it is also low in calorie and high in nutrients. Is it true that eating an apple a day can keep the doctor away? Welcome to the Apple Edition of Food Fabulous. Food is fabulous. Eat, drink, and be merry. We love to eat. What makes each food we eat so rad? Join me. I'm your host, Lisa Tony, on the Food Fabulous Show to learn all about the foods you eat or should. Well, hey there, fabulous friends. Today we are talking about one of my very favorite fruits. I have always liked apples, but as I embarked upon my journey to learn more about food and lose those extra pounds, apples and I became besties. Apples are a powerhouse packed fruit of nutrients. Truly, this is why, even back in the 17th century, the phrase, an apple a day will keep the doctor away, was first discovered and used. Apples are amazing because there are so many varieties of them. Everyone seems to have a different favorite flavor. What's yours? Put it in the chat below. I'd love to hear. My favorite are Fuji's. Oh man, do you love Fuji's? I sure do. They have just the right amount of sweetness and a great crunch for me. Even my kids love Fuji's. We go through at least two bags of Fuji's a week. Well, some of the most popular apple varieties out there are Cortland's, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Empire, Fuji, Gala, Ida Red, Macoon, McIntosh, Northern Spy, and wine sap. Do you know the U.S. produces almost 49.3 million bushels every year of gala apples alone? That's the most popular type in our country, followed by Red Delicious, Honey Crisp, and then my favorite, Fuji's and Granny Smith. Washington State is the largest producer of organic apples, producing 444.9 million pounds every year, with an estimated crop value of $295 million. Oh man, who says money doesn't grow on trees? While other top apple producing states are New York, Michigan, Pennsylvania, California, and Virginia, apples are everywhere. Do you know that there are 7,500 varieties of apples throughout the world? I know, it's crazy, isn't it? China is the largest producer of apples, followed by the United States. You could easily eat a different kind of apple every day for 20 years and not run out of new apples to try. It's mind-blowing! Well, whatever kind you like best, we all have one guy that championed apples that we have to thank, Johnny Appleseed. Good old Johnny. Well, he helped make the apple famous by planting apple trees everywhere he went. His real name was John Chapman, and he wandered the countryside from 1174 to 1845 planting apple trees. His nickname grew out of his love for apples and for conservation. He introduced apple trees to much of Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Ontario, and West Virginia. This American legend, who was kind, generous, and a leader in conservation, is credited with planting many of the 2,500 different kinds of apples that we now enjoy in the United States. Whatever kind you like, keep eating them, because your body is going to thank you. Apples are so super nutritious. They have a lot of soluble fiber in them. And fiber is super helpful to your body because it helps reduce cholesterol and it promotes a healthy body weight since they're low in calories. Eating apples can also add some bulk to your digestive tract, which helps to keep you regular and help you avoid constipation. 
Fiber helps to stimulate your intestines to keep things moving naturally in your body. And when you combat constipation, you also combat hemorrhoids. A double win, people, a double win. All this fiber goodness resides in the apple skin though, so make sure that you're eating your apple skins. Apples, as a high fiber food, they just take longer to break down in your system. And this is what helps you ma to maintain more consistent blood sugar levels. That makes you feel more satisfied and that means that you're gonna turn to sugary treats less. A consistent blood sugar level is what is gonna help you feel full longer so that it makes it, you less likely to overeat. Now, apples also may be proactive in reducing gastrointestinal cancer risks. That is so cool. And the pectin fiber in apples have antioxidant-like properties that can have protective effects against some kind of cancers like colon cancers. There are 4.4 grams of fiber in a medium apple. Women need about 25 grams of fiber a day and men need about 38 grams of fiber per day. So because apples are a high fiber food, this is a great way to get some of your fiber and also work on keeping your body healthy. Now apples off a tree are great, but there are all kinds of delicious things that you can make with apples too. Apples are pretty yummy in pies. My grandma used to make the best apple pie. I would sometimes walk into her kitchen and see she and my grandpa sitting at the kitchen table peeling and coring hundreds of apples. My grandma would spend an entire day making pies, apple pies, and put them in her freezer. And then all year long, whenever she had company, she could pull out a delicious apple pie, pop it in the oven, and everybody got to enjoy the yumminess. Well, apples are a fan favorite and staple for parents to give their kids too. Apple juice, anyone? Well, apple juice is a fan favorite of kids. And apple juice is about 88% water and 11% carbohydrates, including only about 9% sugars. So watch for apple juice that is low in sugar or doesn't add any extra sugar. It doesn't really need it because apples are naturally sweet. Now, sometimes we add extra sweetness to our apples to make them a dessert treat. Caramel apples and candy apples are yummy. You can dip them or slice them in a bowl and then put all the delicious toppings on them. I have a very special recipe for you that is a delicious low calorie baked apple recipe. It's a dessert that you don't have to feel guilty about enjoying. I want to give it to you for free and you can access it by going to lisatoni.com slash baked apples. There you'll get the recipe and a little encouragement to try this yummy treat. Here's a trick if you like sliced apples packed in your lunch or you like to put them in your kid's lunch. But nobody likes brown apples, especially after they've been sliced. So here's a trick. Slice up your apple and then put it in a baggie or plasticware that's filled with water and add a splash of lemon juice. Shake that lemon water up all around your apple and then pour out the water. You'll have created a natural lemon juice protection on those apple slices to prevent them from turning brown. And if you hate cutting up apples, don't worry. There are some cool gadgets out there to help you out. I've linked to a cool apple slicer that will pound right through the core and give you perfect apple slices and a super red apple peeler and corer just like my grandma and grandpa used to use to make all those delicious apple pies. You can find the links in the show notes. I've also created this super easy and low calorie baked apple recipe that you can snag if you would like to make that yummy apple treat. You can find it at lisatoni.com slash baked apples. An apple may just be the perfect fruit. It is high in vitamin C, which is good for your teeth, your bones, your skin, pretty much every part of you. And an apple for breakfast makes an even better start to your morning than a cup of coffee. The natural sugar in the apple will trigger your blood to start flowing, and it really does help you feel more awake, rather than depending on caffeine to do it for you. And hey, if you are trying to drop a few pounds, apples make a great best friend. 
Try trading in your breakfast food for an apple. You can easily grab it on the go or slice it up and enjoy it with your morning water. This is a nutritious, low calorie start to your day that can help you lose a few pounds. It will help you start to feel full and balance out your blood sugar. So jump on the apple bandwagon, friends, because people who eat one to three apples a day tend to be able to lose more weight and eat fewer sweets. So enjoy all the benefits of the amazing apple. Apples truly are food fabulous. Alrighty, friends, thanks for joining me today. I think I'm gonna go eat an apple. If you're on board with talking turkey and other kinds of food with me, then hit that subscribe button. It's the only way for the bots out in the world to know that humans actually like this content. And if you wanna leave some stars or likes and even a comment, that would completely make my day. Here's to good eats, fabulous food, and appreciating the genius of every food we are blessed to eat. See you next time. Bye for now.